Okay, hi, Miss Kobe. Hi. I'm Jerry from 11C, and I'm here to interview you. How's it going? It's going pretty well. Good. Okay, so how do you respond to students sleeping in your class? Students sleeping in my class, I actually have a rubber chicken hiding in my desk drawer. And when I see students sleeping, I sneak up behind them with the chicken and I squeeze it in their ear to wake them up. Oh, that's... Works pretty well most days. That's terrible. Uh, <laughs> do you think that your teaching styles are different from other teachers? Yeah, I think everybody's got their own little teaching style that works for them. I try and get people moving and standing up and always doing something kind of to avoid sleeping, actually. In, okay, okay, I see. Uh, in what ways have TCIS, TCIS improved the most since you've been here? Uh, I think there's been a really good job done with the staff working together in uh, planning events and we've got the charity bake sale coming up where we're going to be getting a bunch of the teachers together to raise some money. So there's a lot of good staff bonding that I think will help the students in the long run. Okay. Right. Uh, Thursday morning assemblies this year, uh, what was your most memorable experiences? Always my most memorable experience is at the morning assemblies are when I get to see you guys um, playing instruments and performing for us because it's so awesome to see you in another light other than just in the classroom. Okay, thank you. Uh, cell phones at school, do you think that they are a good idea and why? Uh, yeah, everyone has a cell phone and is constantly on it and I know I have my cell phone all the time with me and on so uh, it makes sense to have your phone available and accessible, but uh, it's learning how to and when to appropriately use the phone that I think we need some extra help with. So it needs to be more on the students of understanding when and how to use it rather than the teachers to enforce when it's allowed. I agree. <laughs> um... If you were stuck teaching one subject for the rest of your teaching career, what would it be and why? Of course I would teach math forever because math is awesome <laughs> and I love when students who think they hate math secretly deep down learn to love it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate math. <laughs> you think so, but no, you really love it. Uh, no, I, I really hate math. <laughs> what was your... Oh, I mean, have you ever found a student cheating in your exam? How do you react to it? Yeah, actually that happened. This is my first year at TCIS and it happened already this year. Oops. And uh, mostly it was just a bummer. I was really disappointed because I didn't think uh, this group of students actually would betray me. It kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. So being a responsible student is being responsible for the grade that you earned on an exam and if you're not prepared for an exam cheating should not be the solution to getting the grade that you want. So I just let them know that I was disappointed and it wasn't our best day and then we moved on. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you Ms. Kobe. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> We're good?